This is Fred with North 40 Fly Shop and I'm out here on the Missouri River this morning in the rain at 45 degrees because I am just so excited about single hand sketch and casting. I want to talk a little bit about the setup that I've been using. What I've got is a six weight rod here, it's got a running line, and then I've got about four four and a half foot a leader. I usually just grab my uh, hand on the end of the, the fly line tip, pull to my shoulder, break off the piece of uh, odd X, one X tip it, add that to my tip. For the tip here, I've got five feet of T8. It's just a, a tip I cut myself. And then I've got my Skagit head, and this happens to be a 240 grain Scout from Airflow. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how this setup works. It's an incredibly efficient way to, to uh, fish streamers. And so we're going to just go through a couple casts really quick and you can see what we're talking about. Right now I've got current flowing from my left to my right. I'm a right-handed caster, so in order to cast off my right shoulder, I want to do what's called a single or a double spay cast. Get a little running line out here. So I simply lift to get my tip set up where I want, sweep over my right shoulder, and let that sucker go. And with just very little effort, I can huck out 40, 50 feet of line. With this streamer, I'm gonna actively strip it back in, and then I'm ready to make another cast. Rather than having to false cast a bunch, I just strip in until I hit my head, and then from that position, I'm ready to fire. My retrieve is gonna be as much running line as I wanna throw. If I happen to be in a situation where a fish was chasing my fly, I could strip my shooting head all the way into my rod tip. But generally, we're just going to be fishing the running line portion. I'm going to break down a couple more casts. I've got a whole bunch of weeds in the river right now. It's, it's uh, September and the weeds haven't cleared out yet, so I had to actually cut the hook off my fly. And fish keep biting it, which is driving me nuts. I'm uh, going to do a off left shoulder cast so if I was in a situation where I needed to cast off my left shoulder I would do what we call a circle spay or a snap tee. I'm simply going to do a gentle lift moving the tip over to that side and fire off the left shoulder boom out it goes ready to cast ready to retrieve. And then the third technique is simply to just overhead cast if you've got plenty of room like I do here and you want to just do a straight overhead shot you can huck a ton of line doing that. Again, really efficient. One false cast, zoom, you're out there and ready to fish. And then the final cast is simply doing, you know, most people would call it a roll cast or a single spay, where you're simply just gonna lift up, touch the tip briefly, and just go right into your fire. That's really efficient if you're kind of fishing at a downstream angle. When you're running that, working down a big run like this, you can just fire that thing one after another and cover a lot of water in a short period of time. And then the final cast, I guess I'll go through every one possibility would be a snake roll. And it's similar to the single spay in that we're just gonna basically touch the line briefly and go right into the firing position. Get this out here for a second. Simply make a little loop in the air and go right into my cast. So those are some great ways to uh, efficiently fish a streamer with a single hand rod and a shooting head. We call it a Skagit head. Then I'm going to give uh, one more little demonstration here as to why this is a great technique um, for some situations that you might find yourself in. One of the great things about Skagit casting is I can be right next to a bank where I've got a bunch of vegetation, bluff, whatever behind me. With this short head, I don't need to have a big D-loop. I don't need to steeple cast over the obstructions. I can just go right into my simple Skagit cast and all I need is just a couple feet of space. So with all that vegetation behind me, I can just go right into my double spay, fire a good long cast, didn't have to worry about any of this stuff getting, in, getting tangled up on the back of my line. So one of the great things about 
the single hand Skagit system is that you don't really need to go out and buy an expensive two hand spay rod to jump into the game. Same fly reel and setup that I typically use for trout, whether you want to use a three, four, five, six, seven, eight weight, whatever you're, you're comfortable with. All you need to do is put a running line on it, add your Skagit head. We like the uh, Airflow, this is the Scout head or the Commando head from uh, OPST. Both of those heads are great for this uh, short Skagit casting that we're doing. And then for tips, you can do a variety of things. I've got this six weight set up with five feet of T8. Seems to be just a perfect balance with four foot a liter and a heavy dumbbell I'd fly to give me an anchor point, fire it out there, give me some depth when I'm doing a rapid retrieve. So if you're interested in any of these products or would like more information, check us out at north40flyshop.com.